I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today I'm gonna to take you through my outerwear collection. First up is a lightweight casual classic. This, of course, a Levi's denim trucker jacket. I have this one here, as well as one in a light blue wash. This is a great piece and one that I think every guy should have. It's obviously a great casual piece, but I tend to like to wear it as a way to dress down more formal looks and to give them a little bit more of a casual edge. Looks great with chinos. It's also thin enough that you can use it as a layering piece under a more traditional overcoat. Lots of different styling possibilities here. It's classic, it's casual, and it's cool. Next up is a wool shirt jacket or shacket. This is by Armani Exchange. My way of describing a shirt jacket is that it's more than a shirt, but less than a jacket. So I wear this as kind of a casual weekend piece around the house or just running around doing errands. It's easy to throw on over a t-shirt for something more casual, or if I wanna dress it up a bit, I could pair it with a button-up shirt and even layer in a thin cardigan. I wear this most in the fall and spring, you know, those times when I need a little warmth, but a heavier jacket would be just a little bit too much. This is a suede jacket from Billy Reed. I love a lot of Billy Reed's outerwear, but it's always a little on the expensive side for me, but not when it's on sale, which is how I came by this piece. So Robin and I were walking around the West Village once and I popped into Billy Reed, saw that this was on sale and not just on sale, it was like 50% off and that was actually in my size, so I couldn't pass it up. I love this jacket because it lives sort of between that casual and dressy world, and it's a piece that I would call more of a grown-up casual piece. Next is another suede jacket. This is a new one. This is from our upcoming collection with Michael Andrews. Link to sign up to be notified for the launch is right up there. You know, talking about grown-up casual, I think this jacket really sort of exemplifies that. You have the classic trucker jacket style, like in the Levi's denim jacket, but it's in a material that's more luxe, so it kind of elevates it in that way. So if a denim trucker jacket is a way to dress down a more businessy kind of look, a suede trucker jacket will elevate any casual look that it's paired with. Again, this is a great fall and spring jacket. Super excited to have it available to you guys very soon. Here is a classic and recognizable casual jacket. It's by Lavinum. Got the two inch diamond quilting, two patch pockets, one little inside pocket, and this olive green corduroy trim around the edges. This style is actually not available anymore with the stand-up collar. The more classic version that is available is called the Radon. It has a corduroy collar. This is another jacket that is just so easy to wear as a casual jacket with a plaid shirt, jeans, pair of suede boots. It's like the perfect wintertime casual look. Another quilted jacket, this is a quilted blazer by Apollos. Unfortunately, like the Lavinum jacket, I don't think this one is available anymore either. Uh, I like this jacket because I feel it's a perfect encapsulation of my personal style. It's classic, but modern, and also a little sporty. Next, we have a very plain and simple black leather jacket. Absolute must have. This one's by Theory. Every guy needs to have a simple black leather jacket like this. No frills, no extra zippers, nothing fancy. Just something that's really easy to style with a variety of casual looks. Here is a leather motorcycle jacket by All Saints. I used to ride a motorcycle. I had a Triumph Bonneville, but I sold that a few years back because I just wasn't riding as much as I used to. This jacket is definitely fancier than the previous leather jacket with the quilting and the zippers here. Uh, because it is a motorcycle jacket, it's meant to fit very snug, which you can see it absolutely does. This has aged really, really well, and it's a quality of leather that will continue to just keep getting better. I don't wear this as much anymore without the motorcycle, but from time to time, I will throw it on, especially for an edgier kind of look. All right, this jacket is by Valstar. They call it the Valstarino. It's kind of a more casual and sporty take on the classic A1 flight jacket. It is in a sand suede color. Neutral makes it really easy to style. Also, another jacket I would put in that sort of grown-up casual category. This is a piece that I wear a lot in the fall and spring, and sometimes even in the summer. It looks great with the jeans, and you can even wear it suited up. Here is another jacket by Volstar. This one, as you can see, is a little bit warmer than the previous one. It's fully lined with shearling and has this great shearling collar. Uh, this suede, such a cool color, and it's very soft. This is a great casual piece that I love to wear with jeans, and again, something I would classify as grown-up casual. Classic navy peacoat here. This one is by Theory. It's a super soft fabric, so it feels like a little more luxe version of the original. Uh, Theory does great elevated versions of basics, and this coat is a great example of that. 
Honestly, I tend to overlook the peacoat as an everyday coat, maybe because it's it's like really easy to style, but once I kind of get into the groove with this one, it's something that I wear pretty much on a daily basis. Another peacoat here, this one I would say feels a little bit dressier to me. This is by Reese. I think I got this about six years ago. It's got a great big lapel, a big collar. Now, whereas I think the navy peacoat can be styled casually with jeans as well as with a more business casual kind of look, this one I reserve more specifically for suited looks. So it's a very situational coat for me, but there are those situations that it's just perfect for. Here is my Burberry trench coat. It's actually Burberry Brit. It is a three quarter length, which I prefer over a full length for something to wear on a more daily basis. It makes it more versatile and a little less formal. This was actually a vintage find. Robin found this in a vintage store in New York when she was living up there. It was 300 bucks, and this is a coat that retails for around 1200, so this was kind of a no-brainer to add a Burberry piece to my wardrobe. This gets a lot of wear, especially with my suited looks. This coat here gets so much love every time I post a picture of it. It's by Daniele Alessandrini. I picked it up on Luisa Via Roma maybe four or five years ago. I'm sorry to say it's long gone no longer available and I doubt you could find it anywhere. We're hoping to put something similar together for the HSS Michael Andrews collection. More to follow on that. It's just such an easy coat to wear. Uh, the plaid is striking but not totally in your face. It's cut slim, it's got a nice silhouette, and it looks great casually with jeans and also with a suit. Gotta have a camel coat. This one is by Selected Ohm. Similar in style to the Alessandrini coat that I just showed you. Slim cut, nice silhouette, three-quarter length. I think eventually I'd like to have a camel coat made so I could have more control over things like the lapel width and the pockets and the buttons. But until that happens, this one definitely does the job for me. It has a classic and sporty flavor, which is a great match for my personal style. Next is one of my absolute favorite coats that I have in my closet. This is by Ring Jacket. There's so much that I love about this coat, not least of which is the fabric. It is a wool, alpaca, mohair, and silk blend. So as you can imagine, it's extremely soft. Also the pattern, the subtle herringbone is just super classy. This is the coat that I own that gets the most compliments every time I wear it. So fans of the channel will recognize this coat for sure. This is by Pini Parma. Link to my Pini Parma review and try on video is right up there in the corner. This coat is wool and it has a number of really stylish details that I love. The herringbone pattern, the raglan sleeve, the belt, the button closures on the pockets and the front. Classic coat, great sartorial details, and super elegant. This next coat here is actually one of the very first items that we developed for the HSS Michael Andrews collection. It is known as a Balmachen. It's a very old school style. It's longer and looser fitting, though we've given it a little bit more of a contemporary silhouette. Defining characteristics of this style of coat are the fabric. We've got a great wool with an amazing houndstooth pattern and also the Prussian collar and the hidden button closures that go all the way up to the neck. This coat has a quilted inner lining, which gives it a lot of extra warmth. Really unique, very singular coat. Another kind of old school classic coat here, the duffel coat. This one is by Tommy Hilfiger. It's made with a super thick wool and has a lining inside, so it is really, really warm, as you can imagine. Of course, you have the classic toggles for the closures, but this one also has a zipper. Got a hood in the back. It's an absolute classic winter coat and gets a lot of wear. Last but not least, we have the big guy. This is the Woolrich Arctic Parka. This was a completely unplanned purchase. I was in New York in the wintertime visiting Robin when she lived up there. So I had not planned on the weather being so ridiculously cold and I had only brought this like really thin wool overcoat. So we're walking around Soho. I was completely freezing, like literally shaking. Uh, we happened to be on Wooster Street, which is right where the Woolrich store is. So I went in and bought this coat and I was cold no longer. Uh, this is my go-to deep winter, totally freezing outside coat. And now that we have a dog and we have to walk the dog, no matter how cold it is, this is the perfect coat for that. You see it a lot in black and navy, but I got it in brown because I love brown and it's a little bit different. So that is my outerwear collection. As always, I will put links to all of the pieces or items that are similar in the case that something's not available down in the description. Leave your comments, thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and be sure to hit that bell to get notified every time we publish a new video. That's all for now and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.
we are currently waiting for the heating to go off so you don't hear and I'm not gonna be cold because I got all these coats